Hi, this is Abdullah Katan. Here I want to talk about the Mead eyepieces. Um, this uh, series of Mead eyepieces uh, is made of four eyepieces. Um, this is the 21 millimeter, the 21 millimeter. It's a real, real big eyepiece. This is how it looks like. And the 15 millimeter. The 15 millimeter. Most MWA, most wide angle. That's what I think it is most wide angle mwa 15 millimeter 100 degrees appearing field of view this is also how it looks like um the 10 millimeter This is the 10 millimeter. And the five millimeter. The five millimeter. One hundred degrees apparent field of view. This is from the back side how it looks like from the back side. I want to talk about the advantages and disadvantages of these eyepieces. Um, I have, I, I have this, I have these eyepieces for now uh, ten months, and I've been using them. And the first time I bought them, I took them, took them with my telescope, and went to the suburbs. Uh, far away from the city and uh, where the sky is uh, absolutely 100% dark <clears throat> and uh, I was really really happy uh, with these eyepieces and excited when uh, I began to use them uh, I discovered there are advantages and disadvantages about these eyepieces so I want to share my experience with my viewers. Um, the advantages, I think there are four advantages for these eyepieces. Uh, number one, these eyepieces are really, really solid. They're absolutely solid. Uh, you feel like you are holding a tank. It's like a tank, solid, 100% solid and made well. They are well built. Um, uh, number two, these eyepieces are uh, dust proof and fog proof. You don't have to worry about dust entering inside the eyepiece or fog getting into the eyepiece and uh, ruin your eyepiece. No, they are dust proof and fog proof, which is a very, very good. Uh, feature for these eyepieces um, number three i think uh, or i believe this is a clear crisp image from edge to edge now these eyepieces i use them and i saw that they have a clear crisp image from edge to edge and they are uh, fantastic in their clearance um, uh, they are absolutely amazing you you will see the stars uh, whatever you want to see at the sky at the night sky in a clear clear crisp image um number four these eyepieces 
have brighter image than other eyepieces. Now, if you want to use another eyepiece with your telescope uh, and compare it to these eyepieces, to these eyepieces, you will get a brighter image, like about 20% brighter image from any other eyepiece in the market. It's unbelievable brightness. Um, those dim, dim objects in the sky, they will just pop out and you will see them. And using the same telescope with uh, uh, another eyepiece, you just won't see those objects. Sometimes uh, small, small stars or dim stars or uh, you just won't see them, especially when you're looking at uh, open clusters uh, which are very, very far away, like M67, uh, uh, or sometimes the Beehive clusters have a little bitty uh, stars which are far, far away and very dim. Some of them are dim, some of them are bright. But the dim ones, you will not see them with other eyepieces. But with these eyepieces, you will get to see the most dim objects in the sky. It's just really unbelievable brightness these eyepieces have unbelievable brightness that is true um, the disadvantages of these eyepieces um, these eyepieces are not 100 degrees apparent field of view it's written there 100 degrees as you can see it's written 100 degrees apparent field of view AFOV but they are not 100 degrees. Um, when I tested them with my binoculars that I have, uh, I found that the 21 millimeter is not 100 degrees apparent field of view. It's maybe around 90 degrees, something like that. It's around <clears throat> 90 degrees. Um, uh, also, the 15 millimeter. The 15 millimeter is around 90 degrees maybe a little bit above something like it's not 100 degrees um, uh, the 10 millimeter is the most widest one of them all it's about 95 degrees apparent field of view it's around that maybe 96 something like that it's close to 100 but it's not also 100 degrees um, and this is the most narrowest one. It says uh, 100 degrees apparent field of view, but it's under 90 degrees. It is under 90 degrees. Uh, it is not 100 degrees. Now, I don't know. I don't really don't know why Mead is telling us false information. Why Mead is writing 100, 100, 100, 100, and they are not 100 degrees. Why they are doing this? They are giving astronomers false information. Now, astronomers are brilliant people. They are smart people. Some astronomers there are professionals. They are professional people. And they will not like uh, to have false information from meat. Now, why meat is doing this? It says meat here. Oh, look. It says meat here. This is their name. This is their brand. Uh, it says meat. So why are they giving false information about the apparent field of view? Um, I don't know why. Um, number two, you can't, for the disadvantages, which I uh, experienced, Number two, you can't see the whole apparent field of view at the same time. Now, when I look at the eyepiece, uh, when I look at the eyepiece, I just can't see the whole field of view at the same time. Uh, now, that's not good. Um, number three, when you want to view the corners, um, a blackout will pop into your eye. If I want to go see the corners how much I must uh, uh, look at the left side or the right side or up or down a, uh, a blackout will appear and uh, 
it's just annoying this blackout is just really annoying um number four which i think um these eyepieces are only 50 percent comfortable for the eye they are not 100 percent comfortable for the eye um, some eyepieces there in uh, uh, at the market are 100 percent comfortable for the eye some are zero percent comfortable for the eye but these to be honest from my experience these eyepieces are only 50 percent comfortable for the eye um, number five uh, there are three gaps between these eyepieces so uh, these uh, are not a complete set these are eyepieces are not a complete set four eyepieces is not a complete set um, instead of making uh, a 21 millimeter they made a 21 millimeter instead of making a 21 millimeter they should have done a 20 millimeter a 20 millimeter and a 25 millimeter so they must have made 25 20 15 10 and so on uh, uh, there is a gap here uh, we don't have a 25 millimeter and uh, instead of 21 they should have made 20 millimeter um, gap number two there is a, a big gap between the 10 millimeter and the 5 millimeter which sits right here a gap an eyepiece must be here a 7 millimeter they must have made a 7 millimeter right here uh, to fill in that gap and the third gap uh, before the five millimeter they must be, have an, another number a four millimeter or a three millimeter um, there is no eyepiece here before the five millimeter um, which is really really um, not good so what i have done i have brought uh, my uh, barlow i have this barlow right here this is my barlow and uh, it has a one inch and one inch and a quarter adapter so i use this barlow this barlow from gso ed glass two times barlow lens um, i use this barlow for the 15 millimeter for the 15 millimeter like that and I put it right here right here to fill in the gap so what I have done I changed the 15 millimeter into a 7.5 millimeter to fill in the gap between the 10 millimeter and the 5 millimeter and guess what I did not lose any resolution now it's known that when you use a Barlow, you must lose resolution. But honestly, I did not lose any resolution. I did not lose any resolution using this ED Barlow. Um, of course, when I used it as a 15 millimeter, it was 100% clear, crisp image. And when I used it with the Barlow, I had a 7.5 millimeter eyepiece and it was absolutely 100% clear crisp image which is something amazing really um, uh, I like that a lot uh, so I filled in the gap between the 10 millimeter and the 5 millimeter also the 5 millimeter I said we must have a 4 or a 3 millimeter so I filled in that gap and I used it um, uh, with my uh, with my uh, Barlow, this Barlow, and I put it. So I used uh, the I used the five millimeter with this Barlow, and I changed the five millimeter into a two point five millimeter. Now, as I said and everyone knows that when you use a barlow you must lose resolution you must but honestly i'm speaking from my own experience when i use this barlow ed barlow with this eyepiece i did not lose resolution no loss of resolution whatsoever 
I, I, I made it into a 2.5 millimeter and I had a clear, crisp image. Unbelievable, unbelievable, clear, crisp image, which is uh, really, really uh, surprised me. And I was really, really happy with the results. So uh, I strongly recommend this Barlow with these eyepieces to fill in the gap. So I had 2.5 millimeter, 5 millimeter, 7.5 millimeter, 10 millimeter, 15 millimeter, and 21 millimeter. So with this eyepiece, instead of having four eyepieces, with, with this um, Barlow, um, uh, sorry, with this Barlow, instead of having four eyepieces, I had six eyepieces and I filled in the gaps that uh, there were um, uh, with Mead. Uh, what I really just, th these eyepieces are really, really good eyepieces. They are perfect. I recommend them for all astronomers. Uh, you will see a clear, crisp image, 100% clear, 100% satisfied. You will, you will be satisfied with the brightness of these eyepieces, which are really, really unbelievable brightness. Um, I, I, I will not give these eyepieces a, a five star. I will give them four star. Why four star? Because Mead is, you know, Mead is, Mead is uh, telling false information uh, to astronomers. They are saying 100 degrees, 100 degrees, 100 degrees, 100 degrees, and they are giving false information. That's why I will not give it a four, a five star. I will give it a four star. But if someone comes to me and tells me, well, uh, can you sell me your uh, eyepieces? No, I will not sell my eyepieces. Uh, I will keep them uh, because these eyepieces are keepers. Uh, they deserve the money. They deserve to keep them. And I will be using these eyepieces for many, many, many years to come. And uh, they are 100% perfect, excellent, but they are not 100 degrees. The apparent field of view is not 100 degrees. Um, so this is my review about the Mead eyepieces. And I recommend them for astronomers. But please, Mead, do not tell false information and do not write false information on your eyepieces because astronomers are not uh, uneducated people. No, they are educated people. They know and they will discover your false information so please meet when you make other sets of eyepieces in the future write correct information and at the end i will say to my viewers um, clear skies